Welcome to the Release 9 Financials Cloud Spotlight. My name is Terrence Wampler and I'll be your tour guide today. We have quite a number of features, over 100 in our Release 9 solution, uh, and I won't be able to cover all of those today. So I highly encourage you guys to go out, look at things like the Release Content document and the What's New document that are referenced at the end of this presentation. Let's get started. So this release has really been about making financials more appealing to a broader set of users. We've done this by introducing mobile features so that users who are on the go can still work productively. We have also greatly increased our global coverage, plus we've introduced features that will interest specific industries like public sector with functionality to give greater control over financial processes. And finally, we've made it easier for anyone to use Oracle Financials Cloud by making it easy to integrate with other systems. And we've introduced features that will allow you to streamline setup and processes in this release. So let's start with the mobile component. Mobile is really important because it reflects the changing way that people work. So users of mobile devices really expect a simpler, more intuitive user interface to help them get their work done productively. Although we've simplified the interface in general, that doesn't mean that it's basic. We have the same sort of rich data you'd find on the desktop application to suit the needs of a different user profile where it's integrated to the phone device. In Release 9, you can also access real-time financial results. You can do this anytime, anywhere from your tablet or desktop with the tablet-optimized mobile financial reporting center. Our financial reports are integrated with our social network, so that's going to allow you to open up an activity stream or communication to discuss the contents of a report. It also promotes teamwork during the financial reporting review process. Also new in Release 9, we have a visualization called the Sunburst. This tool allows you to interact with your account balances across various business dimensions to view balances from different perspectives. You can understand much more about the underlying data when you're interacting with it in real time, and it's presented to you in a way that communicates the information accurately and efficiently. For example, you can view account descriptions to make it easier to understand, and the Sunburst represents the segments in your chart of accounts graphically. The size of the circle matters. That means the larger the segments represent parts of your organization that have a larger contribution to the amount. So you can see the Elite Pro Series product contributes in this example over 50% of the sales revenue. The color coding shows you how well each of those parts of your business are performing. You can configure the thresholds for the color coding so that it changes dynamically based on what you're trying to measure. At the moment, those areas are shaded green and are growing at a rate of 3.2%. If you compare that to the prior year, From this view, it looks like there are issues with performance in some areas of the regions where the business operates, and you can use the sunburst to investigate further by rearranging the segments. That way you can look at them from different perspectives. So you'll see for the most part, North America and Asia Pac are doing well, but EMEA makes a large contribution to the total, and the color coding shows that it's not growing successfully as it should be. The sunburst is going to allow you to zoom in on the areas of interest in order to understand the details. In this example, we can see that our largest organizations in EMEA, Germany, is doing well and so is the UK. But there are problems with year-over-year sales growth in France, Italy, Russia, and Spain. That should be looked at to improve the business. So using visualization in this way makes it easier to analyze the financial data in an intuitive way to see it more clearly where the issues are and make smart business decisions. We've also made it easier for you to submit expenses by enabling the Fusion Expenses application on Android devices. So we use what we call a grid-style navigation, which allows you to locate tasks easily. You also have multiple ways of entering expenses. You could use a quick entry to quickly add an expense, or a camera option to automatically create an expense item from a receipt image. You could upload expenses to the online expense application or submit expenses directly from the device. Managers can then review all of the approvals pending their action and quickly approve each one of them by a single swipe. They can also drill down into each report to view all of the expenses and any policy violations that they may have. We also tried to broaden the appeal of the solution to other countries or global markets, and we did this by introducing a wide range of new features that address the requirements for country-specific functionality. Some of these features, like reports, might only be relevant to users in one particular country, but others, such as tax enhancements, are a benefit to users worldwide. There are some common themes that we see across the whole world. For example, tax is a fact of life wherever you go. So our tax engine is highly configurable, and the enhancements we've introduced in Release 9 extend it to cover even more of our users' needs. We've also done a lot to help users in various countries prepare their statutory reports or process particular types of transactions that may be unique to their locale. So let's look at a few examples. We have cross-currency payments. So with this feature, we now can pay invoices in any currency, irrespective of the invoice currency. For example, you could create a payment in a Canadian dollars for invoices that might have been created in U.S. dollars, 
And the cross-currency payment usage is very common in Europe, Asia, and Latin America. It might be a legal requirement to use a particular currency as a good business practice, or it may just be commercially viable to use a stable currency. We've also introduced payment formatting. So SEPA is a common standard in Europe, so users can now standardize the process for customer payment collections and comply with requirements issued by the single European payment area. And we also support the common global implementation initiatives. That's based on what's called the ISO 222 direct debit format. So we now have a prescribed standard for payment messaging applicable to the banking industry worldwide that's in the solution with Release 9. In addition for global features, we've added country-specific capabilities in places like the UK and France, Italy, Spain, Germany, Netherlands, China, and Singapore. That means we have a wide range of features, so like the DAS2 report in France or in Singapore we have a GST report. Also, we have the ability to meet requirements that span many countries, like sequencing. This is common in European and Latin American places. So what we have the ability to do is to sequence transactions or accounting entries at the legal entity level without having to implement a single ledger or business unit per legal entity. This used to be a difficult implementation for some of our customers, but in Release 9, legal entity-based sequencing meets these requirements even with multiple legal entities tied to a single ledger and business unit. This allows larger corporations to manage their business processes more effectively. It also provides rapid implementation of country-specific sequences to allow you to generate sequencing setup through a spreadsheet using the predefined country defaults that are based on commonly used known sequencing requirements. Sequencing setup is automatically completed for countries like Italy, Spain, France, Germany, and the Netherlands, where the sequencing of transactions in subledger or general ledger journals is a fiscal or statutory reporting requirement. Another solution that we've introduced is around bills receivable. So if your company processes bills receivable as negotiable financial instruments to collect payments, like some European countries, Spain, Italy, and France, or even Japan, they convert invoices to what might be called a semi-negotiable instrument, and that grants the right to, the, to collect the debt from your customer. So in Release 9, Fusion Receivables provides a comprehensive solution to manage the entire life cycle of these bills receivable, from creation to acceptance to remittance, maturity, risk, elimination, accounting, clearing, and even the history tracking. Finally, we introduce centralized payments and receipts across business units to support what we call shared service models. That means you can now increase operational efficiency by centrally processing payments across these business units when operating in this shared service environment. By defining a service provider relationship inside the solution, you can now process a single payment across multiple invoices from different business units. This improves the management of supplier and customer relationships as well as reducing transaction and administrative costs for payments. Then the last piece around tax is the introduction of tax box and tax allocations. What this means is in indirect tax regimes like VAT, they require companies to provide summary of statements of their tax position at regular intervals, often monthly, so kind of a tax declaration. Oracle Fusion Tax now provides a set of reporting features to help you prepare those tax declarations, like the tax box allocation, like the tax thresholds, like tax point, as well as draft or final tax reporting. And then for Japan specifically, we've introduced a feature around bank charges. In Japan, it's very common to have a bank charge complete the transfer of money that is often charged to the supplier or potentially the buyer, depending on the charge. So with the solution, we now have the ability to allow the supplier to bear the charge and automatically uh, deduct the payment from the supplier. That means the payable supports the automatic calculation, the deduction, and even the accounting of these bank charges during the payment process to help automate, which is really important for Japan. In Release 9, switching themes a little bit, we've also tried to make Fusion Financials a little bit more compelling for industry-specific organizations like public sector. In particular, we've introduced encumbrance accounting and budgetary control. So as part of this control theme, we want to introduce budgetary control, which is a really important aspect to these public sector customers. We've also introduced other features to help control costs and risk and time spent on performing manual processes. So let's start with the budgetary control feature. First, it's in new for Release 9, it's an integrated solution that allows us to do advanced budgetary control preparation. It provides validation. We do inquiry. We do reporting. And this helps public sector and even some commercial organizations define and manage budgets and then the actual costs with better visibility into things like commitments, obligations, expenditures, and to even comply with legal requirements. 
Our budgeting solution is integrated with the Oracle Hyperion Planning Fusion Edition Oracle Project Portfolio Management and any third-party budget preparation solutions that you might have. The Oracle Financials Budgetary Controls Open Interface, which allows budget managers to monitor funds, balances, review budget exceptions, and even control periods in which the funds consumption can occur. During the transaction entries, users can preview if there's funds available, they can engage budget managers to resolve funds, failures collaboratively, and they can even perform real-time inquiry and reporting of funds available. This means you have a complete solution with funds consumption analysis across multiple summarizations and formats. The encumbrance accounting aspect of the solution gives better visibility of the commitments and obligations and even actuals to manage the cost. We record these encumbrance journals throughout the procure to pay cycle well in advance of the actual expenditure and that allows you to forecast the potential of overspending easily. Another aspect of our control features inside Release 9 is Oracle Fusion Advanced Collections. This includes a host of capabilities that automate the collection process which will allow your collection agents to focus on the work assigned to them and follow up on tasks. For example, in the strategy management solution, we automatically identify and apply the list of tasks that can be either automated or manual to improve the collection experience for both your customers and the collections agents. This is going to allow you to improve your cash flow and it's also going to enhance your customer relationships. Smart processes are then run in the background and that allows you to provide accurate and up-to-date information to the collector so that they can execute on those strategies. You could even build strategies based on the customer score and assign them accordingly. So as an example, you might have an aggressive collection strategy for poorly performing customers while maintaining an easier approach with your least problematic customers. The use of strategies can result in a high recovery rate of your outstanding receivables and better control over your cash flow. The final theme is going to look at the ways that we've made Fusion Financial's cloud easier for our customers to implement. In addition to the cloud-based delivery, which means that we take the technical aspects of the implementation, we also have focused on other ways to streamline the experience to our users, making it easier for them to connect other systems through integration to their Fusion application. That means it's going to be easier to set up and implement the products, and then we're going to streamline how the product works, making it simpler and more productive all over. So let's get started. First, there's two ways we think we can streamline the applications for users. The first is to make it easier for them to integrate to these other systems. And that's going to help provide additional supporting services that their business needs. The second is to make it easier for them to complete the processes in the most efficient way, so how they do things. So whether that's during the setup and implementation, or when they're entering transactions from external systems, or even when they're wanting to produce reports to help analyze the business. So let's look at a few of these features. First, we've made it a lot easier for you to streamline your entire quote to cash solution by delivering a seamless and synchronous integration between the Oracle Configuration Pricing and Quoting Cloud, which was formerly Big Machines, and our Fusion Financials Cloud. This integration is achieved through web services to efficiently interface order lines from the CPQ Cloud into receivables so that you have a streamlined process. We also have delivered integration to our travel partner, Get There. So this means our Fusion Expenses application allows an employee to improve their booking experience and to provide better visibility to travel costs and travel policy violations. So as an example, a user could access the travel booking site directly from the expenses work area by clicking on the Book Travel button. And then when the user books the trip, the trip data is automatically downloaded to the expense application so that the user can automatically generate expense reports based on the trip itinerary. Then the user can view all of the trips and the related travel itineraries in the travel tab in the expenses work area. In this travel tab, the user could edit, merge trips, remove itineraries, and even create expense reports from trips. Managers, travel approvers, auditors can view the difference between the book's expenses and the actual expense booking policy violations, and even justifications for those violations. This helps monitor travel costs and it ensures employees are compliant with travel policies. Another way that we're trying to open up the Fusion Cloud is through extended reporting from eBusiness Suite. We have pre-built integration continuously streaming balances from our Oracle R12 eBusiness Suite General Ledger to our Financial Accounting Hub Reporting Cloud Service Ledger. That allows us to continue to use our current financial processes for day-to-day -day operations accounting in eBusiness Suite, and then use our accounting cloud reporting solution for corporate reporting and analysis. 
What this means is the setup data from your Oracle eBusiness Suite Release 12 solution is automatically synchronized with the reporting cloud service. That means it eliminates the need for customers to perform any additional setup, configuration, or costly integrations. So you get all of the reporting benefits of the Fusion reporting, including the mobile reporting and Sunburst visualizations we saw earlier, without any disruption to your existing processes. The next way we've streamlined these processes in cloud financials is by recording external transactions through a simple import option. That means we can bring in all of your transactions, both Oracle and non-Oracle, into one place for greater control and consistency in the processes. For example, cash management provides an external cash transaction feature to allow external transactions related to cash activities, but have not been recorded within the application. In Release 9, we can manage these external cash transactions via a spreadsheet upload to enter a high volume of external cash transactions in that formatted spreadsheet and import all the transactions into the application for matching to a bank statement. We also have the ability to calculate, account, and centrally report for transaction taxes for transactions that aren't created in Oracle Cloud using our Fusion Tax solution. This means things like sales tax, VAT, or GST. So we can conduct this process with ease by leveraging the spreadsheet-based entry options or by subscribing configurations of Fusion Tax. Now, depending on the type of tax transactions you're entering, we can use one of the taxable transaction spreadsheets or the Tax Entry Repository Data Upload spreadsheet to upload these tax transaction data. These spreadsheets let you enter simple transactions or journals to high volume transactions from external applications that may contain customers, suppliers, or other tax attributes for tax calculation. Now, we already had a number of rapid implementation spreadsheets in the Financials Cloud before Release 9, but we've greatly extended these in Release 9. For example, the setup of country-specific sequencing can use defaults based on known requirements for your country, minimizing that effort on your part. You can use spreadsheet productivity features such as copy, paste to speed up the entry of these large volumes and can reuse the setup data over again, meaning that you can streamline the effort of going into setting up multiple business units or ledgers and even the maintenance of your Oracle Financials Cloud. Okay, so to wrap up, I hope I've been able to spotlight some of the ways that this release makes Financials Cloud more appealing to what we think is a broader range of users. And we've done this through mobile features that provide a different but not simplistic user interface for those workers on the go. We've greatly increased the global coverage and the industry coverage with the features that address the needs of the public sector organizations. And finally, we've made it easier for anyone to use the Financials Cloud by making it easy to integrate with other systems. And then by streamlining the setup and processes in the release so that users can complete their processes in the most effective, efficient, and intelligent way. Thanks for watching. <laughs>